In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an education comparison slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks when I click. You can see here I've just created a design like a notebook or a textbook where I've just put the option A and the other side I've put the option B and I've added some few pages and then some icons here. And when I click, it will give the comparison of A and B uh, simultaneously. So you can see here it uh, gives some kind of achievement here you can add some title and some detailed text and here you can add some the opposite one like party cakes or something like that and then second option comes this one and the third option comes something like this so depending on your requirement you can increase the the comparison options also and i have created two slides one with animation and second without animation so depending on your requirement you can choose the slide and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle depending on your requirement maybe i'm going to use maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give some uh, teal color here then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the right triangle draw the right triangle you can see here something like this and shape outline make it no outline then rotate i'm just going to make it flip horizontal and you have to make sure that it is properly aligned and then duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and then just bring it at the top you can see here it should be aligned again then select this shape again hold the shift key and select the shape at the bottom the right triangle merge shape and just say subtract and again hold the shift key select this shape and merge shape make it union so you end up getting a shape something like this and then i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate shape fill you can give some dark teal color rotate i can just make it flip horizontal and then just add it here you can see something like this and if you want to reduce the size you can simply reduce it also so it looks something kind of a book shape you can see here all right so make sure that the size is okay and then i'm just going to bring it somewhat down all right and let me just see how it looks if i do a slideshow you can see there's one gap here so i can just select this maybe this one and then just use the arrow key right arrow key to align it properly now you can see there is no line there i'm going to add few uh, page designs here so go to insert shapes i'm going to select the right triangle again again from the center just add one shape something like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give some light teal color and then send this to back press ctrl d to duplicate rotate flip horizontal bring the other side make sure that it is properly aligned and then this also send this to back so you end up getting a shape something like this now i'm going to add text here go to insert text box and then just type a or one two whatever depending on your requirement make it white make it bold and choose some good font of your choice and increase the size you can see here maybe this much i'm going to increase it and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this right mouse click go to format shape you can see here shape options and text options so select the text options and go to the effects and here you can just go to the 3d rotation presets i'm going to choose uh, maybe this one let me just select sorry this i need to choose which is off axis to left so it looks something like this press ctrl d to duplicate add the other side and then just change to b you can see here 
and then for this i can just choose the other one so you got a and b here i'm going to add one icon here go to insert icons and you can just choose any right icon you can just see here let me just choose maybe this one click on insert hold the shift key increase the size shape outline i'm going to give this color and here i'm going to increase the weight maybe three points and graphic fill make it no fill and put it here place something like this and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to send this to back all right now what we need to do is you can just add the comparison of values here so if you want you can just simply add the text or if you want you can just add the icons also so go to insert click on icons and randomly i'm just going to choose some icons here you can see here there are a lot of icons available so maybe i'm going to choose one two three four five and six click on insert bring it here and the size i'm going to make it maybe one sorry i'm going to make it 0.6 all right and then you can see here all the icons which is related to uh, some achievement something like this i'm just going to add it one side you can see here make sure that it is properly aligned so this one also will go here and then the party icons i'm just going to add the other side all right so depending on your requirement you can just align it later on all right if you want you can just add some icon also sorry the arrows also so let me just move it a little closer add some arrows if required or you can just simply go to insert text box you can add your title right aligned you can make it the same color all right make it bold and you can simply add some detailed text here again i'm going to make it right aligned i can give some gray reduce the fonts and then just add it here select both of this press ctrl d to duplicate and then just add it one by one press ctrl d now take it to the other side now for this i'm going to make it a uh, left align as well as go to shape format align and make it left press ctrl d add for the second one again ctrl d this is for the third as i said if you want you can just add some uh, arrow also here and uh, the design is ready and if you like to add some basic animation you can add some basic animation to it